In this video, I will share with you the most famous hacking tools that are always in a hacker's toolbox. All the tools covered in this video are available for free to use and most of them are available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Now, I'll talk briefly about each tool to make you understand what it is used for. However, if you want an in-depth tutorial or information about a particular tool, you can simply browse the internet or check out the description for some useful links. Disclaimer, this video is in no way intended to promote cyber crimes. All the tools that are shown in this video are open source and are created for the sake of learning and understanding different aspects of cyber security. Using any of these tools to attack an individual or organization without their consent is illegal and you will face some serious legal actions for the same because that would be considered as a cyber crime. So be responsible if you want to test any of these tools, test them on yourself and not on others. I am not responsible for any of your actions. So let's get started. Nmap, simply put, is a network mapper. A network mapper is a tool that can analyze and study networks. Nmap is used by hackers to gather information about the target before trying to attack it. This is also called as reconnaissance. Using Nmap, hackers can scan a range of hosts and see what ports are open and what services these ports are running. Thus, they can gather information about the network and use this information to take advantage of the target. Nmap is available for download at nmap.org. It is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. A simple usage of Nmap would be Nmap followed by the host or the range of hosts you want to scan. Once the scan is done, it shows what ports are open on the scanned hosts. As you can see on this network, there is an open port that is running the FTP service. So I can try to exploit this open port and see if I can gain access to the target device through this open port. So what we did here with Nmap is to find out some interesting information about the target before we even try to exploit it. The gathered information can be used to plan an attack that is specific to that particular target. Burpsuit is a web application security testing tool. It is all you need to test a web application and find out any vulnerabilities that might exist in the web application. You can intercept HTTP messages and WebSocket messages using Burpsuit and even modify them before you forward them to the respective web servers. Burpsuit has a lot of features like Intruder, which can automatically resend a request repeatedly, each time modifying a part of the request as you like. It has also got lots of other features for security testers. The community edition of Burpsuit is available for free for Windows, Mac and Linux. You can download Burpsuit from portsfigure.net. To use it, you will first need to change your browser's proxy to 127.0.0.1 on port 8000. You need to also install the burp certificate on your computer if you want to test web applications that use HTTPS. Now open burp suit, go to the proxy tab and turn on the interceptor. Now whenever you go to any address in your browser, you can see the HTTP request that is being sent to the corresponding web application. You can even modify the request as you like and click forward it to send it to the web server or drop to drop the request. AirTrackNG is a complete set of tools for Wi-Fi hacking. One can exploit WEP, WPA and WPA2 networks with AirTrackNG. It works in different ways based on the security protocol used by the target network. The easiest one to crack is obviously the WEP protocol. After capturing enough packets in the network, it can analyze the collected packets and determine the WEP key. Since WEP is the most vulnerable, it is no longer used by modern Wi-Fi routers. However, AirTrackNG can also crack WPA or WPA2 passwords by first capturing a four-way handshake and then performing a dictionary attack to crack the password. But it is much difficult to crack WPA or WPA2 passwords because if the password is strong, it may take hundreds of years for even modern computers to crack the password. This tool is available for free for Windows, Mac and Linux. But in order to use this, you would need a Wi-Fi card that supports monitor mode. Attercap is basically a tool for man-in-the-middle attacks. Using this tool, you can do ARP poisoning and sniff network traffic of a target. ARP poisoning is a process using which an attacker can modify the ARP catch on a target device such that all the traffic that the target device is sending and receiving in a network is forwarded to the attacker instead of the Wi-Fi router. In this way, the attacker can see and even modify the target's internet traffic. If you're using a website that doesn't use HTTPS, then it's bad news because the captured traffic isn't even encrypted. Ethercap is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. There is both a graphical version and a command line interface version of Ethercap. To perform ARP poisoning using Ethercap, first start the unified sniffing, now scan the hosts in your network 
And once the scan is done, add your router's IP address to target 1 and your target's IP address to target 2. Now that you set the targets, you can initiate the ARP poisoning. So whenever you browse the internet on your target device, you can see the network traffic on your router cap. This is called a man-in-the-middle attack. Metasploit is probably the most famous one on this list. It is a framework for penetration testing. There are a lot of things you could do with this tool. You can create exploits and payloads for different environments using the Metasploit framework. It also goes well with reconnaissance tools like Nmap. The great thing about Metasploit is that there is a huge database of exploits available that you could use with this framework. For example, the NSA's Eternal Blue exploit which was released by Shadow Brokers and it is also used in the creation of the WannaCry ransomware. There is an active and skillful community behind this framework. You can select an exploit, pair it with a payload that suits the target environment and when the payload is executed on the target device, you get a backdoor on the target, which you can exploit using the MSF console. Metasploit is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So I guess that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up below. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. Anchor.